Hello boys and girls, this is your old friend RJ City, and today I will be unboxing trading cards from 1986's Little Shop of Horrors. Little Shop of the Little Shop of Horrors, Little Shop of the Little Shop of Terrors, Watch them drop, Little Shop of Horrors, and no, oh, oh, no, this is of course the uh, movie version of the off-Broadway musical, and not the old black and white Roger Corman picture with Jack Nicholson. That whole thing was weird and not a musical and not funny and not scary at all. Of course, after this movie, Lil Shop of Horrors became so popular that it went to Broadway and all that stuff. And I once saw it on Broadway with Joey Fatone as Seymour, who was greatly miscast. And as Mario Cantone said to me once over dinner, Little Shop of Horrors is the last great American musical. And now that I've said that, maybe I shouldn't have said that publicly. Because maybe there are some Broadway-connected people who just wrote a new musical, and they're calling Mario saying, hey, what the hell would you say that for? Because if there's one thing I know, is that there's a lot of Broadway-connected people who are watching this video right now. So without any further ado, let us unbox. It's not really an unboxing, I'm just kind of opening the card thing and it's going to fall out. So, oh, oh, we're starting off hot with the ever charismatic and complex Vincent Gardenia. Can we, can we, uh, maybe if I go like this, maybe if I go, there we go. And he's saying, in no time at all, Audrey 2 becomes the sensation of Skid Row. And Vince is saying, who would have thought? I'm getting rich all because of that cockamamie plant. And of course, cockamamie is a word that we should continue to use. I don't think it's offensive. I think it's a word that should come back. As we lose words in the modern vocabulary, we should bring back ones like cockamamie. Oh! And the back of the card is, uh, we're not writing like uh, mushniks needing cards. There's no like description on the back. It's just like double cards. This one is entitled, Yikes. And it's uh, Rick Moranis. Can we get it unblurry? Maybe I do have to always go this way, which is hilarious. Uh, it's Rick Moranis here. Is it, no, it's still blurry. Maybe if I go back. Maybe, there we go. And uh, this is from a deleted scene where the plants... It terrorized New York. And there's the Brooklyn Bridge. And there's this deleted scene of the original ending of the movie. And test audiences hated it so much that they had to go back and shoot a different ending. Even though this one cost so much money. But this is the ending that really should have been. This is the moralistic play. Seymour made a deal with the devil. And it should have cost him in the end. It really didn't uh, cost him at all. Which is, which is quite unusual. Okay. Next card. Ah! This is a sticker of the wonderful Ellen Green playing Audrey, or Audrey One. Uh, I did try to date her once. I asked around, I thought maybe she was available, hanging out, wanted to go for a coffee, something, and I was told, no, no, no. Which is a shame, because I think we really would have linked up. I mean, she doesn't, she doesn't wear this outfit or this, this wig anymore, but nevertheless, it's a fine sticker, and there's many places I can stick it. And then the, oh my God, the back seems to also be from a deleted scene, because I don't, Remember this part at all, to be honest with you. It's Seymour, and he's got Steve Martin's disembodied head, and he's giving it to the plant. I mean, I remember he, he chopped up Steve Martin, but I don't remember actually seeing his upside-down head. Say, say hey, says the plant. It's a midnight snack. And then Rick Moranis says, just don't bite the hand that feeds you. Of course, these lines were never uh, in the final cut of the film. Let's see what this is here. Oh, Local Boy Makes Good. This is another sticker, but it actually says, says Loco Boy Makes Good. You see, because he's, he's gone. Ma Why can't we, we got to do a better way of making these less blurry. I'm getting, I'm getting better. Vincent Gardino. Oh, there we go. And he's standing on these giant contracts to denote how overwhelming it all is and how ultimately insignificant he feels. Isn't that something to think about, kids? And then, uh, oh, these are called story cards. So this is like a cup. These are really random. These are tops. This is like the cover, I guess. This is so weird. They really did these. Can I get? There we go. Real backwards manner. But I love the logo. It's so nice. They did a wonderful, wonderful. Oh, another sticker. These are really sticker cards instead of story cards. It's a cartoon of... The Plant, Audrey 2, voiced by 
I believe Levi Stubbs, if I'm not mistaken. Well, that's nice. It's, of course, saying feed me. And then on the back, oh, this is near the original ending when uh, Audrey eats Audrey. Isn't that, a, isn't that an allegory? Talk about being so, so consumed with oneself. And then you see, you see Rick Moranis yelling at him in vain. It takes a while for a plant to eat a human being. And I think that's really what saved a lot of the people in the end. This seems to be, is this just cards from deleted scenes? Oh, and this is it. So <clears throat> there's Rick Moranis. I guess he's contemplating. He's thinking about, he's fantasizing. But then there's Audrey, lovely Audrey. Without my plant, she might not love me anymore and that's i think an allegory for genitalia and cars and money and that kind of thing do you want me for me or do you want me for my plant you can take that in a variety of different ways and here is the uh, gr greek duop choir i guess you can say and of course in the middle is uh, tisha campbell martin who i think was like only 18 or 19 when she did this and it was her, her first role and she was a firecracker and I fell in love as a child, and I loved her and my wife and kids, not so much Martin. And then I found out uh, she did Celebrity Family Feud like a couple days after I did, and uh, it's a shame. We could have ran into each other, and I just sort of said, hello, and then nervously shuffled down the hallway. That's a shame. Next card. Ah. This is uh, Seymour at the radio station. Let me, I gotta do this again. A uh, boy's... When that, it's still not clear. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. Learning. This is a real f depth of field. A boy's best friend is his Audrey too. There's Rick, uh, or Seymour, should I say, at the radio station. Of course, a wonderful uh, cameo by John Candy, making all those fun noise things. That is a real hoot. And then the plant tries to bite a woman's ass who's wearing a, a red dress. It's a wacky... Wacky plant. And then here, here, let me see if I can get this one right from the beginning. Mr. Mushnik, Seymour is saying, uh, I know how to save the shop from going out of business. Look on him, Audrey. Seymour Krellborn, the miracle worker of Skid Row. That's my Vincent Gardenia impression. These cards are very much out of order. That one should have come fairly early. That's when the plant was first, first growing. People saw the plant. I love that it wasn't even like pay to see the plant. It was come for the plant, and then you're like, while I'm here, and I guess everyone at some point needs roses in their lives. And this is, again, just a shot of Audrey 2 saying, smile. This is funny. And disgusting teeth. A lot, of, a lot of space between the teeth there. Kind of a Venus flytrap, but very lippy. You know? A lot of sucking going on. And then on the back, this wonderful scene the uh, fantasy scene from somewhere that's green. Audrey dreams of a wonderful life with Seymour far from the doldrums. Another word that should come back of Skid Row. It's a lovely fantasy. What does it say? I've lost it now. Oh, good Lord. I've lost it. What a shame. But in real life, all Audrey has is, and then, oh, and then I'm supposed to turn it around and, and then it's this plant. Doesn't really make any These are poorly constructed cards. I feel like not only are they all out of order, but the cards like side to side don't make any sense. All right, this is the last card. Another sticker. Uh, there's Seymour just trying his best to make it in this world as we all are with a put on your nervous smile and do your best. And finally, a little character card of uh, Steve Martin as Oren Scrivello. DDS. Can we? There we go. Greaser, semi sadist, and worst of all, leader of the plaque. He looks, uh, Steve Martin looks incredibly attractive with that hair. You don't recognize him as Steve. You just think he's this handsome guy. Look at that pose. You ever see Steve make that kind of pose? Maybe in My Blue Heaven or something. And of course, it's such a shame that Steve Martin has been canceled. Well, those were the trading cards from 1986's. Little Shop of Horrors, and I will remind you, don't feed the plants.